Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome back to No Man's Land. This is my survival challenge series where I'm trying to compete as close as I can with Chainsaw 100 and Dagwin in their multiplayer survival series. So last episode we got a little bit done. In these episodes now I just don't seem to get that much done anymore uh, even though they get longer and longer. But we got that wind turbine put in so that should be bringing some um, some nice bits of money in and also the BGA at the back you just see between the sugar mill and the dairy so we'll make a start on getting those working for us uh, something that I do just want to do is just clean up these little bits that got missed on this field because we're going to get this stone picked along with the big um, soybean field at the back there that we had these two tractors doing the subsoiling in so I think that field's clear now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this tractor off in this small field here. I, it is a small field, so I think one, one tractor will be good enough for it. And then the John Deere, I'll get the stone picker on and we'll get the stones picked out of this field. Or maybe use a JCB on the stone picker for the stones that have only appeared at the top end of this field for some reason i don't know why you see the cutoff line i think that's where we extended and we haven't got any stones down here I'm not sure why that's happening but uh, there's not much i can do about it so we will have to spread lime on here i'll get the whole field lime spread so it's back to the same sort of state um and then we'll just crack on with some more jobs so uh we're going to course play so four meters, only one tool. I will do. I'll do three headlands, and we'll do sharp. And we'll set that off. All right. So John Deere doesn't need any any work done to it. So we'll just drop the subsoiler off, and we'll pick up one of the uh, stone pickers, and we'll get that going in the sorghum field. Right, so we'll use cosplay for this one as well. I'm hoping that by the end of this, we'll get something planted in here. I want to do maybe like a wheat crop or another barley crop, I think, because I need to give some more. Barley might be the best idea, and then we can give some barley to the pigs, and we'll have um, another crop of barley to back up for chicken food. So uh, but that's right. So we want 9.31. One. Only need one headland for this, and we'll do sharp turns. So we'll start that job. I'm sure it'll need emptied at some point, but I'll just take it out the field, tip it straight into the gold plant, and then set it back off working again. All right, so the sprayer had finished its job there's no weeds in this field so we'll get this one back get it refilled and put it away that field there will need another application of fertilizer so i can get the deutz fire out and get that done Right, so we've got the Deutsch Fire, it's full of seed, but what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use Auto Drive to take it to the uh, Field 5 weight position, and then once it's there, I'll just be able to set up a course play and get it doing its job. Uh, what I'm going to do next is just have a quick check on productions because I'm guessing that our sawmill will be about out of wood. Yeah, it is. So, what I'll do is I'll just get in the vent. We'll go and pick up the winch. And these American elm that I planted a long time ago, we'll go and cut some of those down and bring them into the sawmill. But I might just drop off the weight and then I can take the, um, the stub grinder off with me. Oh, 
Okay, so the Deutsche Fahr has reached CP5. So if I just go into course play here, and then I can create a job, field work, it's this field. So it should be 42 meters, do one handler, sharp corners. And away it goes, hopefully. Right, so the first trees that I'm actually going to take down are these small ones just at the side here because they are getting in the way of the combines and stuff when they're doing their work in this field. So I'm just going to try and throw them down here a little bit. And then I can find them, although I think I'm going to have trouble finding those stumps if I put them as short as I just did. So I'll maybe just make the stumps a little bit longer, a little bit easier to see for me. I think these American elms, they have the limbs that are almost like a tree. I'm hoping I can just drag them in in one without having to go and cut everything off. So we'll get rid of that one. We'll get rid of this small one as well, I think. I think yeah, I might do this one as well. Okay, so I now to remember how this thing worked. Was it B? I think it was. And uh, I think control no shift Z. Oh, it's got stuck. Of course it has. Go, but we can't get the stump grinder going. Alright, so there was a stump somewhere in here, I think. Uh, I know it's further back. Right, must have been there. Right, so we'll just try and pull this tree forward. Right, and then... Oh, is there something here? That I've just run over. There's definitely something there. No, I can't find it. Right, so I'll just grab this tree as well. Oh, 
Alright, so it seems to be stuck with the rest of the trees. Somehow it's got intertwined with them. So I think the best way to deal with that is to chop this one down as well. And then let's see if we can grab this one. Right, so I think I'll just take all of these trees with me now and then I'll come back for the other little bits that are left alright so I'm going to have to stop because it's just not pulling them so let's see if I can chop some limbs down a little bit Right, so I've got a few more limbs out of the way, so I'm just going to try and connect up as many bits of tree as I can see. Right, I'll just take that and see what comes out of it. seems a little bit easier right, it looks as though the stone pick is full already so I'll get that emptied before I go back for more tree So I don't know what I'll have got here, whether I've got it all. No, not quite. Well, that should be enough. Wow, that was four and a half thousand litres, that bit of trunk. Right, but I'll just get into the John Deere and I'll get this stone picker emptied. Right, so if I just take it back to the field and get it to go to its last waypoint and we'll go and get some more treats. I do think I remember someone telling me that when it comes to harvesting these American elms that I would have a lot of fun. I can understand what they were meaning now. Uh, right, why is that winch not working? I wonder if I can just take all of these bits now. Yeah, I think we've got about half the amount of tree that we did have. and get out. I think we might have left a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, so we're up to 26,500 litres now. So I think I've got one tree left up there and those small uh, little pine things. I've also got the one, I think it's over by the manure heap, so we'll go around and pick that up. That still needs to come in. And I've got that bit in there, a couple of uh, branches. I'll just have a quick look around for stumps. I think there'll be a couple. Oh, there's a little one. Okay. So I still think there's a small one knocking around that bush there. And there was something there. I'm not sure what that was. But we got rid of it. Right, so I'll just grab onto... these trees here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull them all. We'll give it a go. And then we'll just grab onto these bits somewhere in here. There it is. And that one there, that one there. Oh, so we've got stuck on more trees. And if I can push them into the field a bit. Right, let's see how much tree we've got in here. Nearly all of it. Just these little bits. Right, so that is everything. Oh, we've got those little bits of tree there. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get into the JCB because I need to get that uh, grass rolled up. So that's a job that Cosplay can do while we're busy with other stuff. Probably not going to get it bailed today. But, well, well, at least we'll maybe get it set off. Maybe we won't get any bales collected. Right, so my plan for this is just to row it up, and the course that we use for rowing, we'll use for the uh, baler as well. So we'll just create the job. It's got the right field. I think that's right. We're only going to do one headland. We'll do smooth corners. And I want to start on the centre. Right, so we'll just get back. I'll get the rest of these trees picked up and brought over, and then we'll look at getting the... Well, actually, this stone picker's probably going to be finished by then, so we'll set that off in the old soybean field. 
and then we'll go over to the animals and make sure the animals are alright. Alright, so I'll have to move these uh, tools out of the way at some point. Next time I've got the loader over. Might even take the bale spike over to the animal area if I can. Right, so I'm just going to go and put this on the lime spreader and ready for it to do the work in that field up there. Okay, so we're at the animals now. Have a quick look at there, how they're doing. Uh, so I'm probably going to need to bring some milk over. They've got plenty of water. Food's getting a little bit low on the Holsteins. Food's still all right with the um, Angus. Chickens are all good. Pigs, their food's still really good. I say we'll get some, maybe get some barley when we um, sell the manure. And the sheep... Well, they could maybe do with a hay bale or two. So I think what I might do... Um, we need straw... And silage in that one. So let's get five silage bales out. We'll get four straw... And the hay, I'm just going to get a little bit of hay out just to put the sheep, uh, get the sheep with. I can maybe start getting this filled up. Right, so that'll be producing a nice amount of TMR now. 
So we'll just get this trailer filled right up. I don't know if we'll use it all, but um, it doesn't really matter now. Good job we got this new silo. Right, so that's a Holstein's full. Just need to do the Angus. So it took quite a bit. Quite amazed at that. So what we'll do now, I'll just park this up here and we'll go and get this manure filled up at the other manure pit. We'll pick up whatever wool there is and then we'll um, get that over to the spinnery. So I have actually put some auto route things in. As you'll see here, I've actually made a path around here. So I can fill up uh, both manure heaps with using auto drive. And if my methane point was free, then I could get them to tip it into the methane plant as well. So we've got 18,000 litres. That's about another 4,000 litres of manure than what we were getting normally. Uh, what we got here, we've actually got three pallets but I'm just going to take two. Okay so I'll see you over at the spinnery and the methane plant. Okay, so while that tips, just get into the John Deere and we'll get this emptied. And same again, I'll just set it off at its last waypoint. Right, so I'm going to get back, but I'm going to pick up some barley from the silo there and give that to the pigs. Uh, 
and then at least we get the pigs up to 100%. Can't remember how long barley takes to grow, but that's what we'll plant in that field we've just stone picked. I think I'll do another soybean crop up here. In this big field. I know it's um, probably a bit boring, but... So if I get... Yeah, 8,000. I was trying for 9,000. Hopefully we won't run out of barley. We should have about 6,000 left, so... That's quite a few months worth of food for the chickens. But I think these pigs grow quite fast, so as soon as they sort of max out on price, I'm going to sell half of them so that they breed and then... Um, I'll sell the uh, other half and maybe buy some more piglets. Right, so that should give them now 100% effectiveness on their food. could probably do with getting the slurry out of them but really I need to get rid of the milk so uh, I think the issue I've got at the moment is I've got nothing to transport milk in other than the methane tanker because that thing's always full of water so what I might actually go and do is just buy a like dedicated milk tanker just to transport the milk over with alright so the stone picker's on its last run now It looks as though it's finished. Right, so it didn't actually quite do it all. There we go. So I'll just tip this. I'll take it over to the top of the soybean field. And I'll just set that off going uh, sort of widthways across. It looks as though the rower is about finished. So once that's finished, I'm just going to put the baler on it and set it off doing the baling using the same course play. Oh, I think I just saw a stone there. I did. Yeah, there's definitely some stones just there. only four litres mind. I might just run along this bit here just to make sure. Okay, so, see, I'll just use normal AI worker for this. Right, so that's the rowing up done. So I'll just take this back, get the baler on board, and I'll just set it off on the same course again. Looks like I've got the issue with this, um, this thing being all floppy again. Don't know why it does that. answers in the comment section
So the only place I can see there being an issue is with that um, when it does the island around the stone in the centre of the field there. Right, so we'll just set that off. And hopefully that will bail everything up. Alright, so the Deutsch Fahr had finished ages ago. Uh, should we just check the field? And it looks like it's got it all done. So we'll bring this one back. So that's two big cotton fields we've got. Uh, I think that's going to make us quite a lot of money. As long as we can harvest them when it doesn't start raining. Because I'm sure this field, when it was raining, it got harvested. I'm sure we lost quite a lot of cotton off that. I uh, don't really want that happening again. But I'll probably put... Um, if there's sort of like half a cotton bale left, I'll probably just put that into each of the... each of the uh, spinneries and the rest of it will just sell and then we'll see about getting the case on the um, cedar and get some barley planted in that field Right, so I'm pretty sure the cedar is around the back here, you know. Should be ah, there it is. So I'll set this for barley. I think that's barley. It's not full of seed and fertiliser, but I'm sure there's going to be enough for it. Right, so again we'll use cosplay. Twelve meters, one headland sharp, clockwise, that's good to go. Start the job. Right, so what I wanted to buy next was um I don't know where it's at. Animals maybe? Yeah, here we go. So I was thinking about getting something like this. So what can that hold? That can hold 24,000 litres. This can hold up to 25,000 litres. I uh, think I like the look of this one, actually. So we can have 4x4. Four four. Is this what changes the size, or is it just the horsepower? So we're just getting horsepower change there. Uh, design, non-decal, German decal, English decal. So that's the big capacity, that's the 25,000 litres. We've got agricultural tyres on. Oh, we can go up to 640 horsepower. Why would you want to go to that much? But I don't know, I just kind of think that's what I want to do. Uh, and what colour do you think we should have for a milk tanker? I mean, there is like a... No, that's horrible. I mean, that's not too bad. Um, what about a nice green? 
I don't know, I kind of like that. Uh, the tanker body colour, well, we'll just leave that as stainless, I think. And the rim colour, yeah, we'll leave that as silver. I don't think there's a chrome, is there? Oh, actually, look at that. Yeah, that's quite nice. Right, let's do that then. So, what's that going to cost? 155,000. It's only money. Right, so here we are. The big green milk machine. Let's go and get some milk, get that over to the dairy. So I'm not actually sure what this 4,000 litres is that I've got in it. I've got fuel at 600 litres, then I've got 4,000 litres of something else. I've actually got no idea what that is. So I can open the covers. First you need to, I have, I have no idea what that is. It seems to have quite a hard brake to it, like a hard engine brake. Um, as soon as I let off the throttle, it's just stopping dead. So do I open the covers to fill it? There we go. So I think I will just take 25,000 litres. Uh, that should keep the dairy going for quite a while. So I might have to look at the mod for this and see what the notes say about it, see what this extra um, this extra capacity thing's all about. And unless you know, if you know in the comments what those three blue lines mean, I mean I would guess it looks like water, but I don't know why you would have water in a milk tanker. We'll see what happens when we um, get rid of it so will it let me fill if it's closed uh, yeah it will let me tip alright so I've just lost uh, about 17% I wonder if I go to the water station if it'll fill it up I wonder if it's something to do with washing it out every time you use it Maybe it's that. No, that's just putting water in. Okay, so that's something I'm going to have to research. Unless you know what the answer to it is, then please get it in the comments. Let me know. It seems I've just filled it with water. I'm going to have to empty it now. There we go. Alright, so with a bit of luck, it'll fit in here next to the Massey. lovely happy with that
Right, so I don't think I'm going to get into doing the lime spread in this episode, so I'm going to use this vent. I'm going to pick up the rock truck, and we'll go and uh, unload the stone picker, which is very likely full by now. And then after I've emptied that, I'm going to come back with the uh, bale. Although it looks like it might have got around there, unless it's going to get stuck in this episode, in this lap. Yeah, I'll come back with the bale loader and we'll get those bales cleared up. So I think I can see it's stopped up the top there. Don't think it's moving. Yeah, so it's got stuck on a bale, so we'll just go and clear these out the way. Right, so there's 24 bales. So what I might do is I might just go and put these outside of the BGA. I'm kind of hoping they won't actually go in until they're silage. Not sure how much longer it's going to take. Although I do want to put some slurry in here, so perhaps uh, I won't do that just now. I'll probably just park them up here for now. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of these hay bales off the side because I think they are going to cause a bit of a problem at some point.
Right, so I'm just going to leave this here and I'm going to get into the truck and we'll go and get some slurry. It looks as though the uh, New Holland has just about finished. So what I'll do with that once it's got to this row, I'll get the roller on it and get this rolled in. Because maybe the seed has only got a couple of passes left now. Well, it looks like it might have missed a few sections. Right, so I'll just use auto drive for this and I'll get it to go to slurry fill one and fill up. So pick up, uh, yeah, so we can go to slurry fill one and we're going to be bringing it to the BGA liquid tip and that's slurry, so we'll set you off. And now we're in the New Holland, it's just coming to the, its last row. I can see that the stone picker's still moving, I can't actually see the stone picker but I can see the texture's changing. Uh, it looks like it's actually just got full now. I've got a message there to say it's full. Oh, it's nearly got there as well. It's only got a couple of passes to go before all the stones have gone. Right, so I'll go and get the roller and then make our way over to the barley field. In fact, that's probably the cedar finishing its job now. Oh yeah, I need to explain about the strawberries. So what had happened there is the strawberry, um, because it's all set to distribute to go to the cake factory, uh, it couldn't take any more and it was getting full up. So what I did was I just set it to store. It spawned, I think, eight pallets, which is about 4,000 litres. And then I set it to selling. So I've got 6,000 litres of... Well, sorry, I've got 4,000 litres of strawberries sat outside the greenhouse. And the greenhouse is now selling all its strawberries that it produces. All right, so let's just look at what's going on here and why it's missed some bits. So yeah, it definitely had missed a few bits. And there's the slurry tank going back to get some more slurry out of the uh, slurry fill one. Although I think it'll be empty, so uh, probably need to change that to slurry two. So I'm not sure what's making it miss these bits. I'm sure Corseplay never used to miss little bits of field like this. If you've got any idea what I'm doing, maybe I've got a setting wrong. You know, put it in the comments, please. I 
think as well the um, I will check but I think that the sugar plant is out of sugar beet now so um, I'll have to look at doing something with that So I think this has probably been planted. Maybe not this little bit here. Right. So that will do. And I'll just jump into this one and we'll set a course off for this. So I think that's right. I only want one headland. One, two, sharp corners. Start the job. So I'm just going to leave this out here because I'm going to be doing this field in the next episode. Uh, but what I need to do now is get into the sprayer and we'll get that field sprayed. I absolutely love that this is just the same size as um, this little bit here. So we'll just let it get out the way um, and then we'll run down the middle of the field. In fact, we won't do that. We'll jump ahead of it. Because I want the middle to be the last bit so I can set the width properly. I'm not sure if I could actually knock one off. Maybe I could. No, I don't think I can. It would be very close if I could. I don't think it's quite there. Okay, so I think we're about done for this episode. I will just check on the productions because I'll probably have to set the slurry production off in the BGA. But what that should do is create methane to sell, it should create electricity to sell, and then we'll get some digestate as a byproduct which I can put into the methane plant to make some more methane for us to sell. I'll stop the John Deere there because it's probably not in any stone stony ground at the moment 
So let's just go and look at the productions. Um, so slurry, that's actually full. So let's activate that. Doesn't hold much. Maybe that was the uh, difference between having this one and getting the sort of the bigger versions. They hold more. Sugar beet cut. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that yet. I have an idea. There is, um, if you look in the store, there is a front loader tool bucket which is this here so this can take sugar beet and make sugar beet cut um so i could set up sort of a conveyor system into that and you know do it that way it's a bit of a bit of a pain though but we'll we'll look at that for another episode if we've got any sort of free time so yeah so the john deere has definitely finished now so we might as well stop that So I'll just empty this into here and then I'll go and tip it into the gold production. But I think that's all I'm going to get done in this episode. It's probably another long one. It just seems to be the way they go these days. I'm sorry about that if you don't like the long videos and congratulations to those that do. So next episode we'll get the lime spread in here. We'll get this field planted. We'll get the other one planted with barley and then probably do some more work on bales and we might even start having some time to create a th another field over here in this bit of land that we bought uh, but we'll see how it goes so thank you for watching if you give the video a like i'd really appreciate it subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye for now